Okay, Armor Gaming live streaming is live. This is another tutorial video I'm going to do live streaming for this map, Spring Street. Before we get into this, let me, as always, put my disclaimer out there. Armor Gaming is not responsible for anyone or anything done in the video by anybody other than the representative of Armor Gaming. This is an 18-plus channel. If you hear see something at 18 plus or under that you should not be seeing or hearing at that age, it's your own fault. Now, with that disclaimer out the way, Hope everybody's having a blessed and great day today. And like I just previously stated, I have done previous live stream tutorial videos on the training for Redline. I have done them for Intercept, two very well-known sniping maps. But I have heard many, many people ask me, when you're gonna do one for Spring Street? When you're gonna do one for Spring Street? Which is probably, I'd say probably one of the more like Nuketown version from Call of Duty of this game, but it's Spring Street instead of Nuketown. Um, size wise will be crossfire but in this game the, one of the main maps that everybody wants to play a lot is Spring Street so everybody's fast for it I'm gonna give it to you I'm gonna show you how you snipe on Spring Street now there are two sides the objective side and then there's the flag side the objective side is the sniper's advantage side so sniping from the flag side is gonna be a lot more difficult as you will see when we get into this video alright first off we're gonna go to training let's go get Spring Street I'm gonna show you several several angles that you can snipe from on this game on this map specifically let's get our sniper and a good old TR-20 scope 1911 it doesn't matter what the pistol is it's just a tutorial but this is my normal loadout so now you have your flag side there's the flag right there X that's the flag all right and you need to take it over to that building over so right there i will also show you this video about that window right there in a little bit um some people don't even realize it's there but i can show you a few different things that you may not realize are there now of course most obvious sniping spot you're gonna come over here and you're gonna snipe now most people jump that window sit on the box sit behind it sit up into here maybe on that one there's some that will stand in a little box inside a humvee there so there are several little spots that they can be standing over there but most most of the time it's right here in this box right in this little area here or right here at the humvee there are people that will snipe you right through this humvee's windows so also keep an eye out for them you will see people by this wall so from about this window to that window people will be sniping so yes you have a very good angle for them but a lot of amateur snipers will jump this window and they will stand like right from this side of that red window to this box right in that area now if you stand here of course you're very well exposed they have such a target on you but if you want to hit them from here as you come around lay down and if you notice I can hit right to the edge of that box and right to the edge of that window. And I've got cover on the other side. It's a pinpoint shot. They would have to really, really, really be paying attention to see you're here. And if they're down by the Humvee, you don't see them up there, you know they're in the Humvee. That is one hell of a sniping spot to snipe from. It is a more traditional spot. Then you have, of course, this window. You can snipe behind the wall. There's down, you can snipe right down to the stairs in the Alamo, which is the main building over there, as well as sniping right around here. Now, this wood wall here, this one right here, this one, this one, anywhere you see that wood, even there, you can shoot through it. Now, for some reason, even though the damage on the M24 is, as a sniper is a lot stronger then the m14 ebr as the sniper is your secondary when you go to choose there are two and i might even be able to actually i can't even show it to you till the end of this thing but you can also pick the ebr as a semi-auto sniper for some reason this gun will not penetrate that wood it will put a hole on it but it will not penetrate it for whatever reason same thing with any wood that you see the red ones or the white ones like this you can shoot through them but for some reason the m24 it's something they need to adjust, something they need to fix, will not penetrate. But the EBR um, marksman and the EBR um, sniper rifle will rapid fire bullets through that wood and penetrate and hit anybody. If you watch, you can actually see shadows around this part right here where the blue dot on my scope is. Of the gun, you might even see the tip of the gun. When you see the shadow, just cut up and to the right just a little bit. 
in this unloading that spot with the EBR, as the sniper marksman, you will hit that target and drop them. They won't even see the shot coming. Now, also, there is a spot in the Alamo by the stairs, right where I'm aiming right now, that if someone's sitting there, they can shoot from there and hit you out of this fucking window. Some people call it the red room because of this red panel here. There are some people that just call it the office window because this is, if you pay attention, look at the top of the screen, it is the office. And then you can hit the upper bank window from here. You can hit the back of the hotel, side of the hotel, the balcony of the hotel. There are, people tend to look from the hotel to this window right here and not realize that they can very well get sniped from the side here. You can legitimately just creep this corner right here and most people stand right in that area. You can shoot them. They don't even pay attention. And I will show you there's other spots on the other side and stuff. So this is just like a bunch of servers or whatever in there. You can't unfortunately shoot through any of this, which I wish you could for a lot of reasons. I wish you could get down there. But then you have the crouch wall. Say C R O U C H. Okay, most people come out and snipe here behind the wall. But if there's name right there, I'll show you from that side. You can shoot from there and peg someone at this sniper crouch wall. You got that wall. This panel right here. You can penetrate it no matter what the gun is. You can penetrate that all day long. You can penetrate that one. You can penetrate through this one. And if you pay attention, you see the gaps in there. I will show you in just a moment what those gaps are good for on every one of these walls. You can shoot through this freaking the wood of this animal as well, no matter the gun. But most people come down here and what to do, it exposes them. They don't want to be exposed. So, a lot of times someone will be sitting right there waiting to shoot you. That's the back of the diner. So, if you sit right here and you crouch down, you can shoot right through this crack and shoot them. As you can see, there is a sniper round. You can shoot someone through that crack. That is one hell of a shot and they won't even see it coming. Now as I said, I will show you from this side exactly how you can snipe over onto that side. Now there is the center window that people shoot through the trees and stuff right there. That center window in the house, there's the wood plank I'll show you. It goes to the back of the Alamo, the flag position objectives there but they will sit on that plank right there in that window and snipe okay you can shoot it from here but you're exposed so why would you expose yourself and you can come right to this wood and you can peg that spot from right here very slick very tricky you can hit a pinpoint shot if your center of your scope sees it your barrel will see it and you can shoot it also, just remember, because of soft spots in the game, do not get too close to the wall when you do it, because as you aim, your barrel sticks through this wall, and any enemies over here will see your barrel sticking through this wall. So you really do want to sit back at an angle to shoot at the windows. You really want to sit back as far as you can to hit without your scope being out there. Okay? You can also see people coming from across the way. When they come through, you can peg them this way. And it will tell you there's an enemy coming. You can get shot through this. Someone can put a bullet through this wall. So. As I will show you. Here's my sniper. There we go. If you notice I took one shot through there. And look there is the bullet hole from the sniper. It legitimately came right through that wall. And put a hole in here. So you can be shot through there. Alright, there are many, many other angles. Of course, you can snipe down range and all that from here. You can sit here, exposed if you'd like to hit the upper bank. Kind of a foolish place to be, but that's what it is. Alright, let's continue with this side of the map first, and I will swap over to the other side and show you. Now, obviously, you have under here, a lot of snipers will turn around and sit mid-map. People will sit up in the thing. You, you, I, mean, I don't recommend sitting in the spawn, but you can hit the window up there, catch anybody in the tier. You know, I've seen people do it. You can hit the back of the thing. So if there's someone back there camping, they're going to expect you to come around that corner or around the other side of the hotel. You come right here, jump this window, and you creep just like this. You can peg whoever's in that corner. 
and I'll run over there real quick before I continue to show you where that bullet hit. So if someone is camping in this corner, they would have to legitimately be right tight in this corner to avoid getting hit by that sniper round. Now, as we keep going, this video I might be a little long. There are a lot of things that uh, you can shoot from. You can lay right here. You can snipe up to that window. One of my more favorite times when I do from time to time sit here is I snipe right here. They're either going to come out of the office of these stairs to come down the back way or they're going to come out that doorway right there. And the minute you see them hit the upstairs, it's a hell of a pinpoint shot. You can take someone's brains out really quick and have the cement right here that you cannot penetrate with a bullet. You can't even hit with a rocket. A grenade going off on the other side will not kill you on this side. It is impossible. If it happens, it's a program, a mod, a hack. Don't let no one fool you. These balls are impenetrable. That's why I took the 45. Look at it. Barely scratched it. The M24 is one of the strongest, if not the strongest stop and power weapons in the game along with the M1911. Hence why I carry the M1911 as a secondary because it's like having a shotgun in your hand. All the sniping angles from here. If you know someone's tagged someone over there, you can shoot through here and hit them in the back of the, hotel, or the, back of the diner. Another very favorite spot of mine is you can hit up here in the hotel, upper bank. People creep that corner tight to look around. You can peg them right there in the lower bank as well. You can jump this window. You can jump up on You can actually sit on that windowsill if you angle it just right. Here you have sniper angles into the side window of the office. The front window of the office. You even have shots at the back stairs from here. But my more fair angle would be something like this. To see them coming from the back of the diner trying to attack anybody you might have over there. Or creep that way to creep on you. You can peg them right from here. It's a very nice shot. You can shoot downrange here. You can hit the doorway going into the back of the diner through here, the window. But most times the sniper might sit in there or someone might sit in that window and think, oh, I'm safe over in this corner. You can actually hit them through here, which is a very, very nice shot. As, it, as I said earlier with that angle shot, look at this. You can sit right here. And as you can see, there is the sniper round that I just fired into that wood. So someone is camping back there instead of coming around outside on the ground here, getting shot around there. You can sit up here as a sniper, or even as any gun, and shoot down through there and hit someone. You can flash if you're low on bullets or you don't think you can catch them because he's in that corner. You can throw a flash, you can throw a frag, or just flash it and let your teammates run in there and catch them. Or throw a flash, come down around, throw another flash, come around, pistol whip them, whatever you choose to do. Let's see if I can catch this angle right to show you how you can sit around this window. Perfect. Look, I'm sitting on the window. I can hit into the lower bank. I can really hit there. I can hit when they come around here, right there. I can even snipe back here where no one will even realize I'm sitting here. And if you jump this right, you can literally get on these boxes. And when someone turns the corner, they don't even know you're there. Oh, I missed it. But you can get over there. I've been there several times. Now, let's show you around the bank. There's the back of the diner, there's the side door of the diner, the windows, and I'll show you one nice pinpoint shot that will nail anybody coming out that back of the diner right there, through there, and they won't even see the shot coming. You can peg through this wall if you see some moving, of course, all these wood walls are, you can shoot through. Another good angle shot right here, people like to rush into that lower bank. You can really hit someone from here and do damage, as long as you have someone who can watch that window and watch up around back for you because you are pretty exposed right here but it is a really nice shot you can throw a grenade back there and watch it go off frag. or you can even flash it and no one would even know what's going on well let's grab this flag since in order to flip this thing in the end i have to turn around and have this anyway you can penetrate this blue tin wall it does not offer much help from here you can angle shot up there, underneath, in the hotel, in that window where I was showing you can shoot the bank, you can shoot up there. You can even shoot through these windows because some people do tend to hide by the front of that white car right there. Which to me is one of the dumbest spots because it is so exposed in the middle of the map. But, people still tend to do it. 
I will show you another spot where you can throw a grenade and stuff on the other side. So, yeah, that's why I'm not going to throw the flash and all that. I'm going to try and save them because I want to show you where you can actually throw a flash and take out the office without being out of cover, without being seen. And it definitely helps a lot, especially if you're on the front side of the office. You can peg the back of the hotel from here. Now, most people, when they come to here and someone's in that window, they sit right here. It leaves you so exposed. I think it's insane. I find the best way to do it is hit this wall. Without letting them know you're there. Pull out your pistol so your gun doesn't show. Stay tucked tight to this wall. So that the person in the window can't see you. From here, you can turn around. Give my damn sniper. There we go. You can peg the back of the thing there by the back of the hotel or diner. You can peg the side, peg the side there. You can peg through the window to that back door. But I think my one of my favorite sniper spots is right here between the blue panels, and they never see it coming. They'll sit there. I've shot so many people right through there. If you can see, right through the panel gaps, right through the window. It left a hole in the wall behind the window way back, and that is a distance of probably about 10 15 feet past the window. So, if it's going to do damage in the wall that deep, that far back, it's definitely going to put someone on their ass. You can also snipe someone off the boxes from here, without them seeing. You can shoot right into the Alamo, right here. When on the f bottom floor camped in the corner, you can peg them from here. There are several different places. You can sit on this side, sniping through here without them seeing you. Some people do look here, a lot of people don't. Now, when you come around here, you don't want to get hit by anybody. So, still picturing it being from the flag side, being I have the flag. You want to come around this corner, and you want to watch, because someone could be sitting there. But always watch. Check these corners right here. Someone could be camped right tight in that corner. So when you turn, if you don't have a flash to throw over there, if you do throw one, if not, watch this corner. Right here, we'll peg that door in the back. Go very, very slow. You want to watch these corners. And if someone's hiding underneath the Alamo at the outer uh, blockade wall there underneath the overhang, you can hit them from here. You can also snipe to the upper bank area. You can hit to the lower bank. You can actually hit up to the balcony from here. Remember, one thing though, if you can hit it with your sniper rifle or gun, they can hit you from that same spot. It is a two-way street. It isn't just where you got a shot and they don't. So you can sit here, take them out for they go to go for the window, or if they cut underneath, it's a very nice spot to shoot from. It's very covered, very safe. A lot of people tend to play around the hotel or the diner, so chances are you're gonna have back up there with you. There's the upper bank if they come through the lower bank. You can shoot through that cement wood wall right there, right through the Humvee. Look at all the bullets in the Humvee, probably from previous matches we that I've been in with you guys. <laughs> but it's more or less just the graphics. But there are a lot of angles you can snipe from. So, let's hit this center wall and show you this. Of course, people hit this center wall, they snipe around. Oh, cargo container, cargo container, no real shot unless you shoot in the middle or you're waiting for someone to come out of there. Maybe shoot up a dumper bank behind the wall a little bit. But not so much, you can hit the window. Not a bad shot. But here is the kicker. If you see movement through those cracks, you can shoot through the crack. You can hit them there. But here it is when they come out the crouch wall, even crouch unless they're low crawling, you can knock someone's head off right there as soon as they clear it. Chances are they're not going to be on their belly low crawl down the stairs. It's very hard to do. It's very annoying. But if someone does do that and they come down, the second you see their gun there, out of your scope, just bring your scope right there. They're going to crouch around. You're going to hit them every time. It cuts their forward motion going in the back of the diner and coming around on you. It is a very angled shot. It's something you definitely got to watch for. And as always, I will not be showing every angle I snipe from. As a ranked one sniper for the game, I choose not to expose everything. But I can teach you several angles, several different tips. There are guys that are very, very good snipers. Um, I'm sure there's probably angles on this game that on these maps that I don't even know of yet But I do spend a lot of time uh, a lot of hours on training on the different uh, maps checking every angle um, I Try not to play with like Hydra is a very good uh, map for example of 
people turn around and not be able to use the sniper. But if you go into training, you can use the sniper on that map, which is kind of ridiculous. I refuse to use the weapons on training if they're offered that I cannot actually use in the online multiplayer competitions. It's kind of pointless to train with a weapon that you can't actually use. To me, I think that should be addressed, and those weapons that aren't actually able to be used on that map should not be able to be used on that map on training. Because you're just training for pointless, no point reason. There's the back window as we go along with this. You can peg right here. Most of them sit right in that window. And I'll show you that angle shot that will bring you right down to right where this broken plaster is. And you will turn around and see a very decent, decent shot. Now, coming back here, there's angles as well. Now remember, these angles can be used from both sides, whether you are defending or attacking. Learning the maps is a key thing. If you want to know where you are, I'm in a diner alley. Press left on your directional pad. It brings up an upper left screen. tells you the time, and it tells you the location. It tells you if you're paying your, and stuff like that is good. It will tell you your health and everything. That's what the good is. I believe it's your health or your ping. I'm pretty sure it's your health, though. I will have to look into that a little further and let you guys know. Back alley sniping. You can throw a flash up in here and blind the person and come around. Now, like I said, you can shoot through these wood things. So if someone's down on their knees, you can hit them. But a lot of times, people go sit in this corner when they're the last person standing or one or two standing to try and watch the window and watch here so they're not flashed back there. You can shoot them right over the wall, right to the top of the stairs. There is also, right here, if you angle that wall, you can snipe someone without stepping out into harm's way. So if they're not there, you know you're gonna come around and snipe right up into this little area here. But, like I said earlier, I was gonna show you this window right here. Alright, now people don't realize that window is there. Let me run in and show you this window real quick. Then we'll go show you the office window I was talking about earlier. That is the window right there. Wow, it's right over the objective. I forgot I had the flag. <laughs> Give me a minute and I will show you um, what I'm talking about with the two windows. I hit the flag, wasn't trying to. I apologize. Okay. Alright, now we will not grab the flag. Alright, now let's go show you that window real quick. Matter of fact, uh, since I'm right here, I'm going to show you this other window. There's a window right here, and I'll continue showing that window up there. If you pay attention, that's this window right here. Wow, sniper, anyone can be up in there. You can actually snipe this wall up there and hit them. But if you take the flag, the frag. You throw it up in there. It hits the middle of the stairs right here and goes off. So if there's anybody camping around this, look where it went off. And the blast radius is going to hit anybody over here and really mess them up. You throw a flash, it's really going to screw them up. So you're in cover behind there. You throw it up in there. They don't see it coming. Now let's get back to this window. With this window, you can literally throw... A flash up in there. As you can see the explosion, it hits right in there, right in the corner, it will blind people. So it's one hell of a, of a window that no one even realizes there. You can really flash someone. Sniping angle from this side, of course you have the advantage because if you jump out this window on this side first, you're already under the office where everybody goes and you've already got your scope. The minute you see the little shadow or so if you just hit your scope right there, the minute someone gets there, this game has an auto-aim device in it that moves your scope a hair to let you know that there's a target coming in that direction. So in this sense, if someone's coming, my scope would, just by holding L2, would move a little bit that way and let me know, hey, someone's about to step out of that corner. And the minute it does that, I'm pulling the trigger, they're going down. You can hit right in there, you can hit that window, but that's from the sniper's angle. You can actually get down underneath the Humvees here. A lot of people sit right here. If you can hit from that side, they can hit you from this side. They can hit you, like I was saying, through the Humvee windows here if you didn't know about these spots. If you crouch down, 
you can get a nice shot at the window there. You can use the grate here to protect yourself while you shoot straight towards the crouch wall. So this is a very defensive area right here to hold up, hold the mid map to keep your opposition from getting over here. There are several shots you can take. If they're coming through lower bank, you can literally just sit right here and snipe and be in cover as long as you know there's no one up there. So if you hear them come this way, you can hit them while using the steel humvee to your advantage and protection. Red room. If they go up in that red room, you sit right here and spawn way back. The minute they hit up in there, that's a shot to, if you pay attention, right there up to the right of my blue dot is a little shot in that wall. So if I can hit that wall from here, obviously I can take someone out. Most people sit in the window and they look for you right on this rim. They look for just underneath the middle here to shoot you from right down here by that wall. If someone's coming that way, you can sit back here and snipe them. Very nice shot. But a lot of people sit there and people come right here. And the minute they do, if you see on the thing, you can see the shadow of my gun on there. If I'm seeing my shadow there, they're seeing my shadow creeping around and off onto the wall. So that's not a very good thing to be in. Blue panels, I can snipe right between them at whoever might be behind there. You keep a close eye. Um, visual awareness is actually... Um, I actually don't have a spot yet, that one guy. I'm actually just doing a quick tutorial video on sniping on Spring Street. Um, I've done one for Redline, I've done one for Intercept, and I do plan over time to do a video on every map. Um, I practice for hours and hours on every, on every map to get to know them better. That helps with your awareness. But in this video, as I was saying, you can snipe through there. It's just visual awareness. I prefer to get on this table and sit way back so they don't even see any shadow they don't see me they don't know I'm there you want to be hidden and by sitting here you avoid that angle right there so you can come right to here and snipe without exposing yourself to that blue panel gap you can shoot through this angle as well towards the front bank the red room or office window you can snipe down mid map you can even hit down in the hotel, or excuse me, the diner. But the shot that I love the most that I catch people with a lot that people don't realize is there's the back door to the diner. And that right there is going to be the shot that's going to bring you by that broken plaster back there. Let me get out this window. Here, let me take another shot over there. I just want to be able to get over there and show you before that bullet damage disappears. Of where that shot's actually hitting. See the two shots? First one, second one. So when you come here and you creep around and look over this way, guess what? You're putting yourself here. If the sniper's up there and he's on point, he's gonna know you're there. I can snipe you from that same spot. That is one hell of a shot. See the bullet started to desync, but you can still see the second shot. But you see where the bullets going to hit so there are a lot of angles you can shoot from here you can even sit right here and shoot at the bank when they come around right through the gaps here you can literally go like this and shoot up to the office window from here I've hit people from here as well there's a shot at the red room right here as well you just angle it, you take the shot, they don't even know you're there. Plus it gives you a shot right through here, right at the crouch wall area. The minute they come out, you snipe them. If they come around by that door, you can hit them. And you have you on that back door there. So it's another defensively good place to sit. There are so many different angles on this map to shoot from, it's insane. But you can snipe from a lot of different angles. Yes, there are a lot more angles that I snipe from. Um, just off the top of my head, I would say that I can snipe you from probably another 50, 60 different angles on this map that you probably wouldn't even know were there. So there are several angles that I can snipe you at that I am not going to show you in this video. Um, it's my style of gameplay, but you could very well be doing your own style of gameplay. If you come right here, 
people come around there. Where is this other angle? Right here. See the box? See the opening? This one's a nice one I'll, I'll show you guys. And that shot is right here. So if someone's sitting here waiting to go for there, I will sit on that box. I will shoot you right through here. And you won't even see it coming. Because there it is right there. So if I sit right here with the sniper and you're jumping up a bank window, as soon as you hit on that box, good night. And it's very, very simple. Watch your angles. Watch your corners. This box here, if you can, aim, if someone's creeping this corner and you are the sniper, even with your regular gun, aim right through there. Believe it or not, that shot will go through. You see how you can see the wall through it? Look at the shot. So these shots are possible. They are damaging. They will kill you. Watch your corners. This is a very tactical game. This is how they do it in real life. This is what we do in this game. It's very tactical. I remember that one guy. We did play yesterday, yes. But this is different angles you can shoot. And if you sit back here. And you know they're going to come around by the center of that. There's another shot. When they push mid-map. There are several, several shots you can hit from that people do not realize are here. If someone's camping this corner, you can shoot right here. You gotta hit that angle just right. See, I caught the box. I, removed, I angled it down just a hair, but look at it. It hit the back of this pallet. See? Went through three pieces of wood and hit there. Angle a slight bit better. <laughs> that is one hell of a shot, right? But um, that shot hit through here, here, and right into that wood. That's three pieces of thick wood. You can see it's about an inch and a half, two inches thick, and it stopped it. If you angle it a slight bit higher, it will come above here. When you crouch, your head is still sticking above the top of this pallet. If I had angled that a slight bit higher, the bullet mark would have been somewhere over in this area. There are several angles to shoot from, several ones you can hit people from. Um, what I would love for them to do is update this map just a little bit for a specific spot. I am still trying to figure out, I did get into a match last week, the week before, and there was a gentleman up on top of his building, laying up there, shooting at the spawn house back by where the objective is. How he got up there, I have no idea. I've tried for countless hours on this map to figure out how to get up there. No clue. I would love to have the ability to get up in this room that's just a blank space above us. The reason I would love to get up in there is because look at the windows. Look at the angles. You could, I mean, just imagine the angles above these buildings all around the map that you would have full range, even out the side window up into there, right straight across into there. So, I mean, there are so many different angles. I would love to have that put that way. I would love for them to make it so that you could get up over there. But most likely they're not. Um, it is a finished product. They do have maps on PC that I am dying to get my hands on. There is at least one that I know of for sure. It is 16 players on 16. It's like have four different teams at once. Two teams one side, two teams the other side. And... It's a huge, huge map. It makes Redline, it makes Homestead, it makes those maps look tiny. So, I can't wait to see the other guns. They do have all the snipers. They do have a couple more shotguns. I believe it's a couple more LMGs. Um, they do have a couple more pistols. I would love to see, but... For now, that is the sniping angles for Spring Street. Everyone's been asking for them. You just have to be on point, be able to play peekaboo, learn the angles, learn the, the speed. And as always, work on bringing your sensitivity all the way up. When I do these videos, though, I will not lie to you. I do not run at my max sensitivity. I can go to my settings and show you right now. My sensitivity on my controls is 1.8. If I were to put this at 3.2, which is what I run on the games, it would be so fast and a lot of people would not realize 
I do bring my sensitivity all the way down. And this is why. To quick scope these angles at 3.2. And this is how I normally play. For me to play around like this, you wouldn't even be able to really pay attention to what I'm doing. That's why. This is why on my videos, I do lower the speed down so you can actually see what's going on. Because you see how fast I'm moving right now? That's how I play. If my screen is not doing that when I'm in multiplayer game, I feel like I'm in quicksand. But I do lower my sensitivity down for that reason. So when I'm showing you in the videos how I'm moving, you can actually see the shots. To me, my mind is memorized to those angles and stuff so fast that I have no fallback on speed. This is why I tell people you need to pick up speed to it. Um, right now, I will also put in this video that the second place sniper is another YouTuber named Jeremy FPS. I believe his... PSN game name is Jeremy MPO13. Uh, he is a very good sniper, do not get me wrong, but he breaks the main cardinal rule of this game sniping. After the first 40 seconds on that clock by to the left of attack in the top center screen, you should not be in your scope for more than 3 to 5 seconds. The minute you are in that scope for more than 3 to 5 seconds, like any great sniper in this game will tell you, there's only one in one only turn for you. And that's a dead sniper. You do not want to be dead. Pet peeves of a sniper. Don't sit on top of your sniper. If you don't have the sniper or at least the designated marksman. Do not be in the sniper's, uh, sniper's windows. The sniper uh, spot. There's no point in it. But. So. In close, you want to work on getting your sensitivity up like this. Most guys on their sensitivity are playing at 1.8. Okay, look at the difference. Just by pressing left of my right thumbstick. Oh, it seems pretty fast. But when you have guys playing at 3.2, press around my left thumbstick. It's like the whole world is whooping around you yeah. while you're standing still, so... But I hope this video was very educational for you. And I hope that it's taught you some tricks and tips. And if you have any other questions, feel free to contact me. And I will turn around and gladly do what I can to help you out. But this is how you quick scope. Um, one last tip I will give you. If you want to be able to quick scope and train your mind to quick scope, see the blue dot in the center of my scope. Do this with any scope, don't care what color it is color doesn't matter but I'm just using mine for example the blue dot take a little piece of white tape stick it right on that blue dot so when you move around your screen that white dot will just move with you you know that you know that that spot is where you're gonna quick scope and look at that quick scope just missed that freaking that ribbit <laughs> that's how you know you can quick scope But until next time, and hopefully we'll catch you guys in some matches with us. This is LT underscore Cyber underscore Shock for Armor Gaming saying keep gaming, Armor Gaming, like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the flip side.